Oakley Flak 2.0 XL Long Time Term Review. Ah, this is Tyler from SportRx here with my buddy Rob, Sunglass Rob, and uh, we're talking about the Flak 2.0 XL because there's a lot to talk about. This is, I think it's unquestionably our favorite frame, uh, and it is easy to talk about in pretty much just about every sport application, right? Yeah, this is the long-term review. These frames have been out about, what, four years? They, re <laughs> they replaced the Flak Jacket XLJ, and yes. since they, the Flak Jacket XLJ used to be the best-selling Oakley. Now the Flak 2.0 XL is the best-selling Oakley. It's the best-selling Oakley for Sport RX. I believe it's also the best-selling Oakley for Oakley. So this thing just sells it, and it's just an incredible piece of eyewear. They actually won Sport RX's best um, sun, sport sunglasses of 2018 at the SportRx uh, award show. They won a Rexy. As well. They won a Rexy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, incredible pair of glasses. Uh, a few things I think that make it amazing. It, well, first for us, it's the RX ability. With Oakley Authentic lenses, wow. you can go up to a minus five to a plus four. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, with Prism technology and progressives, <laughs> it's just amazing. You can get so many different lens technologies in such a wide range of prescriptions. So I think that's, that's one thing that for us is one of the reasons why it does so well. But they're just amazing pair of glasses. Yeah, they have a lot of this grip on the temple, on the nose. They're gonna stay on your face. They have the interchangeability, that functionality, which I was just showing. Uh, a quick call out in case you're confused. The Flak 2.0 XL is distinct from the Flak 2.0 non-XL, uh, just in the terms of the lens shape, it's the same chassis. Yeah, the lens is just a little bit taller, kind of has this little sweep up thing here, and that's the only reason why it's called XL. It's not an extra large version of the regular Flak 2.0, which can right. be confusing, yeah. So like Tyler said, you get a lot of this uh, rubberized grip, it's called unobtainium. The hotter you get and the more you sweat, the stickier and tackier it gets. They're super lightweight, have an unbelievable amount of coverage. If you're cycling and you're in the drops or you're in a, a, tri a triathlon kind of position, really tucked in aero position, very hard to look over the top of the glasses, super wide peripheral area, very, very lightweight, hard to fog up because of this open on the bottom design and um, super, super easy to interchange so you can get different lens colors for different lens conditions, which is super cool. Um, yeah, this is, we just sell this all day long. It's yeah. just an amazing pair of glasses. I challenge you to find a sport that this wouldn't be applicable for. Write it down no, in the comments. No, that's like, like our best baseball frame, it's our best cycling frame, it's our best mountain biking frame, it's yeah. our best tennis frame, it's yeah. our best golf frame. Yeah. Like, this is just like the best frame. Especially yeah. when you talk Prism technology, again, which you can get in prescription in a crazy wide, and this is my go-to for strong prescriptions as well. It's wild, up to a minus five total power. Uh, but you have that covered, you know, the, the Prism Golf, Prism Road, Prism Field, Prism Trail, just the, the sport, specific tint technologies that Prism does, or that, that Oakley does, the Prism line, you get in this, in your prescription, and it's amazing. Yeah, I, I'm a big, big fan of these. Uh, Fit-wise, I would say that this is one of those rare, and Oakley seems to do a really good job about this, one size fits most. I easily am a large to extra large guy, and I don't feel they're too small for me. I mean, maybe a bigger would be okay, but I definitely don't feel like they're too small for me, and Tyler's more about small to medium, and I don't feel like they're too big for you either. Like, we can You're both right. easily wear this frame, and it totally works. So, wide range of head sizes that they work with, and a wide range of prescriptions that they work with, with a wide range of our, uh, lens choices. I mean, no wonder we just can't keep them in stock. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, real quick details on it. We can talk actual measurements. Uh, so you have a lens width of about 59 millimeters. You have a lens height of about 37 millimeters, a bridge width of 16 millimeters, an overall frame width, an effective fit width of 133 millimeters, temple length of 125 millimeters. We say this all the time, don't stress about the temple length the chances of it being fine for you are very, very high. Yeah, it's because they have the three-point fit system. So Oakley employs this three-point fit, fit system a lot. And that basically means the glasses sit on your nose and the glasses, uh, the temples go straight back and kind of gently hug your head. I always feel weird saying gently hug your head, but that's what they do. They don't hook behind your ear. Uh, and some people think that might make them fall off easier, but the geometry on the frame and all that unobtainium really makes them fit kind of perfect fit pretty well underneath a helmet, fit pretty well underneath a hat as well, so that, you know, if you're doing them for sports and you're wearing a hat or a helmet, 
it works really well, but um, I have a pretty big head and I don't feel like it's too short at all. And so another, yeah, another quick note, and since we're doing this long-term review, we do get a lot of people who come back year after year updating their prescription, keeping the same frame. What's really nice with this unobtainium rubbery grip, if it starts to wear out, you can replace this. You can replace these nose pads very easily. We have some videos, I think, of a how-to yep, with replacing them. Um, so you, this frame is a good value. Yeah, it's made out of O-Matter, which is Oakley's like <laughs> proprietary uh, uh, sport plastic material. It's unbelievably lightweight and super, super, super durable. The chances of actually breaking the actual material is just, I mean, it's just so hard to break O matter. Yeah. And then it has a breakaway temple. So if something does happen, unfortunate, usually what happens is the temple just kind of breaks off and you can snap it back in instead of actually just breaking. So, I mean, I think they redid the best selling. So they put all the good stuff. It's just amazing. Yeah. Like it's just super well thought out. Um, it's been around for a few seasons. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. I see this being in the Oakley lineup for a long time to come. Yep. In fact, there's other, there's a youth version of it. It's kind of inspired other pairs of glasses. That was a long video for a long-term review, but I just feel like there's not enough good things to say about the Flag 2.0 XL. That's right, we yeah. love it, and it's just as relevant today as it was when it first came out, and it is my go-to frame every day. Yeah, so get a pair, get a pair from SportRx, get them in prescription. If you have any questions, you can leave it down in the uh, comments section or email us. You can email info at sportrx.com. You can call us and speak to a friendly, knowledgeable optician that knows all your Oakley question answers. And uh, please subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up and uh, later. Woo!